Welcome back to reality. Um, today I'm feeling inspired by the bright blue skies that are outside. Even though it's winter time, it's still like really lovely out. And so I found a Clinique, a little mini Clinique palette in my collection. Uh, and I felt inspired to do this teal eye look with gloss because gloss is really trendy right now. And I haven't used this gloss, so I am excited to have it on. It feels good. It smells good. I just remembered one of the reasons I don't wear lip gloss very often. Let me know if uh, you experience this as well. But it like, it makes my tongue and throat feel really weird. It like gets in my mouth, you know, because it's on your lips. Um, and it makes like, it makes me feel weird. Is that just me? Let me know if you feel that way too. Anyway. If you like what you see, or if you have a teal eyeshadow that you're scared to watch, that you're scared to use, please keep watching. <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain is such a mess. Okay, we're gonna start with a primer. Now I'm using a new primer today, uh, the Ren Perfect Canvas Skin Finishing Serum. So we'll see how that goes. I did email, it's like a, it looks kind of oily, it's clear. Um, I did email Tarte's customer service and basically was like, yo, I hate this foundation. Can we do something about it? Um, so we'll see if they get back to me. I don't know. Um, I bought it quite a few months ago. So it makes sense if they can't do anything about it. But okay, so this um, primer smells kind of good. Um, when you put it on, it feels kind of oily or like soapy. And then, yeah, it feels like oil. And then when you put it on the skin, it gets like tacky and then that tackiness wears off. So, um, and then you put your foundation on over that. So I'm just going to finish putting this on my face and then I'll put foundation on and then we'll be back to do the things. Phew, okay, skin is done for the most part uh, in terms of our base. Um, I have a couple blemishes right now. I got one there, one there, but that's real life. And one there. I don't know a weird spot for it. So apparently this primer is supposed to like help your foundation not oxidize and it's supposed to make your skin feel amazing. So we'll see what it does. <laughs> um, okay, and then today's eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with a Clinique palette. Um, look, there you are. And it's called an All About Shadow Quad Morning Java Blushed hazy and jammin'. Um, and I really liked this because of that teal and this pink and this, like it says, java and hazy kind of combo. So we're just gonna um, enjoy those today. I'm gonna take this pink one and put it all over the lid. Now there's not one, there's not a matte shade in here. It's all, they're all shimmery. Um, but I think that's fine. I don't like that brush. Let's pick a different brush. Something a bit fluffier. So we're not working as hard. Now this shade is kind of pink um, and has some white shimmers. It's kind of pearly. I like it. Now we might increase that later as our um, as our highlighter like under our brow bone and stuff but right now we're just gonna leave it as is and then I'm gonna take um hazy which is kind of um like a it's brown that's the easy way to put it but it's kind of like purpley brown or like a pewter brown I don't know we're gonna put that in the crease um and uh, I think that will look nice in our little crease now this is gonna be kind of a glam look. I'm probably not gonna wear it into my evening festivities cause I would, I think look kind of funny. Um, but I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. Well, I like that so far and in itself. I like what's happening there. Um, okay, now I wanna take kind of a flatter brush and put this, um, it's called, that's weird called blushed, which is weird because it's like blue, it's like teal. Um, and we're gonna put that on the lid. 
and I'm not gonna doing a cut crease or um, anything so wanky like that but I'm just taking a shading brush just a brush that's a little more dense to pack this onto the lid and we'll see how it goes they're not as blue as we thought if at all so we're getting a lot of fall down which means our eyelashes are turning blue huh well this is a bummer let's get some setting spray and see what that does for us so i'm taking some setting spray we're going to spray the brush you could also use you could use water or like mac fix plus all right yeah that's definitely better and bring it over to the side over to the side all right these look a little bit uneven let's blend these edges out but they look pretty good okay so now that we have that shade kind of all over the place I'm blending it into the outer corner so that we can take this dark uh dark brown and blend that into the very outside, now this, wow, is very flaky. Now this is just to darken this outer corner and blend that blue teal color into what's already there. That's nice, but check out this fall down. Okay, we need to take care of that. Timer for my laundry is about to go off. Okay, so let's put some of this brown, the dark brown that we put on the outside. Let's put some of that under the lash line. Under here. And then I'm gonna take some of that teal and go on the inside. Wow, that shade does not like being seen. Must be an introvert. Um, and then let's put some of that pink shade on a more concentrated brush. Put it under the brow bone and in the inner corner. We'll put some of our highlighter on these spots too, but we just really want it to show up. That highlighter shade isn't necessarily popping. <laughs> Blue sky smiling at me. What's next? Let's put some light powder over um, the face. And then let's put some blush. Now I'm using this really pink one, Ripe Watermelon, from um, this Mary Kay duo thing, but I'm not going to use the highlighter. It's not the end of the world if the highlighter gets on there. Oh gosh, this is very pink. I'm going to be real light with this because I don't, I want to look like Barbie. You know what I'm saying? Hang on, we need to blend, blend some things together out here. Ended up being a little more dramatic than anticipated. <laughs> Whoa. So yes, just a light hand with that blush because we like the pink color, but the, you know, the neon isn't really what we're going for. Do you see how bright this is? Um, okay, that's good enough for now. And then I'm going to use Dandelion Twinkle. Um, it just seemed to fit with this palette really nicely. And I just really like the way that it sits on the skin. I think it's lovely. And you smell so good. We're just gonna go over that whole blushed area. Highlighted. This is like the quickest tutorial. Uh, not actually. Blue sky smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. Blue birds singing a song. Singing a song, nothing but blue birds all day long. Never saw the sun shining so bright. Never saw things going so right. 
Noticing the days hurrying by. When you're in love, my, how they fly. Oh, blue days. All of them gone, long gone. Nothing but blue skies from now on. Name that movie. Actually, it's kind of a trick question. It's in multiple movies. Holiday Inn and White Christmas, I think. White Christmas for sure. I don't know if it's in Holiday Inn. I should know. That's something I should know. It's an Irving Berlin song. My baby woke up. I think it's my fault too. I think I woke her up. Oh well. We're sleep training right now, so she's learning how to fall back asleep on her own. Which is kind of terrifying. Also, my husband's home, so I don't think I'm just like neglecting her. No judges here. Um, okay, I just put some highlight on my eyes with the dandelion twinkle. And it comes in a little mirror inside there. Pink. Um, okay, I think, okay, eyes are done. Should we do a little something with our eyebrows? I feel like they're kind of disappearing. Maybe they just got like primer or mascara on them or something. Um, okay, and then for lips, I'm using a nude gloss, Nourish Shine Plus Lip Gloss by Mary Kay in the color Cafe Olay. There's another one I have that's called Teddy. That's a Mary Kay at Play lip gloss. But... This is the one I grabbed. I haven't worn lip gloss in so long. I wanted a nude. This is a little more pink. But it has great pigment. Feels really good. Yeah, feels good. I think this is the finished look. Blue sky is smiling at me. You know it. I feel like this brown got like out of control. So does this blue. You know what? When you're wearing a color like this, you can't really be worried about things being in control. Like getting your baby to fall asleep. That's just not something that's in my control. <laughs> um, thanks so much for joining me. I hope this was fun. I just saw this palette in my collection and I was lacking inspo. And as you can tell, I'm like loving the blue skies right now that are outside. Do you like my nails? They're like kind of like a gradient. I'm thinking about doing like ombre like on the sides of the color before it Nah, whatever even though it's not technically spring yet the sunshine makes me want to be outside so I'm glad this video went quick because I kind of want to take a walk with my baby and get her to sleep for another hour I hope that is uh, what happens maybe I can convince my husband to stop working for a little bit it's fun let me know what you think uh, follow me on Instagram I put all sorts of goodies on there uh, and subscribe and stuff if you want to. But I hope this was useful, and I hope that it gave you confidence to try a, like, a teal, smoky eye, kind of, is what this turned out to be. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye!